Good afternoon, judges. My name is David Tatro. I'm the president and CEO of Veterans QRF. QRF is a common acronym in the military, and it stands for Quick Reaction Force. We have a backup when it's needed most. And uh, currently, I am, I am a student, MBA student here at the university. And when I was 18 years old, I was deployed to Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. Upon returning as a 19-year-old kid, I realized that I could no longer play sports that I loved to play when I was in high school uh, due to the austere environment that the deployment had on me. Um, and Good afternoon, judges. My name is Henry DeLima. Uh, I'm an alum of UMass Lowell. I'm also a retired Army veteran. I served our nation 18 years. When I came home from my last deployment, I experienced great difficulties in trying to transition back to civilian life. I turned to the VA for help, and it took the VA more than two years to process my benefits. In that time, I spent 11 months homeless. The problems that veterans face are many. Our generation of veterans is only getting larger in size. By the year 2030, the VA projects that the post Gulf War veteran population will be more than half of the total veteran population. <clears throat> Part of the problem is that the VA is unable to adequately care for its veterans. Currently, there are more than, currently more than half of all veterans who have applied to the VA for benefits are waiting more than six months in order to receive their benefits. Part of the barrier in order for, for veterans to both receive their benefits and care that they both deserve and earn <coughs> is in the application that veterans have to fill out to receive their benefits. It is six pages of instruction followed by a two-page application where at the end, veterans are expected to self-diagnose their own ailments. Within the application, our organization has identified an opportunity, an opportunity that David will expand upon more. That is right. The opportunity in solving this problem lies in simplifying the application and the processes veterans must go through in order to receive their benefits. To do so, we want to create a web-based platform. This web-based platform is going to produce more accurate claims from the start, as well as reduce the stress that veterans will experience while completing this application. To arrive to a solution, we will facilitate a stress-free environment. Once the veteran has gone through our web platform, we will then have email follow-ups, ensuring that the VA has in fact received the claim. Also, there will be a customer service email where veterans will be able to ask any questions regarding any benefit that they're entitled to. Currently, veteran services offices can only serve so many veterans at a time. This in itself causes a backlog and just receiving assistance to complete this, uh, this difficult application. With our web-based platform, we'll be able to serve any number of veterans at any time, as long as they have internet access. To grow our platform, we want to start here at the University of Massachusetts Lowell, a home to over 1,600 veterans, one of the largest veteran populations in the Commonwealth. After successfully launching a beta testing program, we will discuss moving to the Northeast and eventually the entire United States. If Veterans QRF receives funding from Difference Maker, we will use it primarily to launch phase one of our development. While doing so, we'll be working to acquire a patent for our idea, as well as qualifying for a 501c3 nonprofit status. All this can be very successful with just a little bit of your help. You can find more information about us on our website. We have a customer service email if you have any additional questions after this. And if you have any questions right now, we'd be happy to answer. Thank you. Now it's time for the judges to ask questions. Yes. This seems like a very simple solution to a problem. Why hasn't the government done this already? That's the funny thing. Same about government. This. So it that started in October of last year. Um, what I what I failed to mention at the beginning was that I had eventually been convinced to complete this application and file for a claim. Um, I waited a year and a half for a decision, and they told me that my pain was not related to my service in the military. Um, so I sat down in class once and I said, why is there not an easier way to do this? Why is there so much confusion in this process and why is it taking so long? So while we can't immediately fix the timeliness, we can fix the simplicity or the difficulty of it. Um, and so I left class that day, packed everything up, and left. So. All too often, veterans' claims are turned away on the first step simply because they didn't complete the application properly. Excuse me. Um, 
our solution, as simple as it sounds, will also ensure that veterans' claims, or the, rather that the application, is accurately completed the first time, submitted to the VA in a timely fashion, and hopefully expedite the process that the veteran has to work in order to receive both benefits and care. I like the turbo tax uh, analogy. That was the next yeah. one. Good so you're going you're you. to simplify this. You're going to give them a portal they go to. They fill out the application. Then you'll basically bird dog it through the system, through the process. Exactly. So give them updates so that they actually get, because I'm assuming the VOA doesn't give any, I mean, the, the, the VA doesn't give any. The VA gives very, very little. Right. Uh, and, and if you're not recently separated from the VA, the amount of information privy to you is even less. And in order to get that from the VA, you've got to jump through several hoops. Sure. Just to get that information. Right. So yeah, essentially we would be that contact for the veteran, mm -hmm. and we would make sure that their application is making it through the system. Um, so actually, we we created um, some demo slides. We have, we have an appendix for that. Um, essentially, the veteran is going to be welcomed at our at, at our greet, greeting page. They'll sign in or create an account. Uh, they'll give us demographic information as well as details related to their, to their military service. By knowing details of their service, we'll be able to tailor questions to specifically that veteran in order to ensure that no uh, possible claims have been overlooked. Uh, they'll give, be given the opportunity to identify the parts of the body that are giving them issues every day, and then they'll be going. They'll go through a questionnaire that will then, you know, ensure we hit cross our T's and dot our I's. Uh, Excuse me, Patrick. Do you need sure. government uh, like certification or approval or partnership to do this? No. So we've uh, we've already uh, went out into the community and sought some advice from several different individuals. Two of them being the former secretary. Um, uh, Veteran Affairs for the Commonwealth and the current Secretary of Veterans Affairs for the Commonwealth. Um, in a nutshell, we don't we don't need approval, uh, but in order to build a relationship with the VA, which is really where we want to go, and right. I think your question right. is headed, yeah. um, we really need a product to bring to the market. So you described two problems, right? One problem is that the forms are very complicated and veterans don't have maybe the knowledge of the patients to go through all of that which is a, seems to me a smaller problem. The bigger problem is that the VA itself doesn't have the resources to process all these applications and they're getting flooded and they're, therefore they're behind. So I see how you're going to solve the first problem. How are you going to solve the second problem? So the, the first problem is going to be solved by this platform. Mm -hmm. um, this goes into our sustainability um, and actually maintaining, a, a, you know, not, not becoming obsolete. So we're going to develop, a, we want to develop a back-end user section where we, then, where we can then develop a relationship with the VA, and this will sort the information for the VA, because currently the process is a veteran either faxes or snail mails their application. <clears throat> the information sits in a pile for so long. When it's gotten to, they have to sort the information out. Then the person processing will then figure out which evaluations are necessary. So to fix the timeliness, when we do have this proof of concept, we will build a back end for the VA where we will seek a, a contract license or some sort of agreement with is that controlled by laws, though? That uh, don't you have to change the, the VA? The way VA does things, I imagine. I don't. I'm not an expert, but I imagine it's all governed by U.S. laws. It is. So for them to change their back office operations would require a new law, wouldn't it? So, it, ma'am. So you're at. The, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, so I can't speak to changing the laws. Yeah. But I can tell you this: the VA released a document at the beginning of this year, and it's their strategic plan for the next five years. Right. They have to do something different. Number one on that yeah. list is develop partnerships and relationships with private industry. Mm. That can help them. Thank you, veterans. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.